What about Peter Baker? I think that uh, the sound of Eilis in Gaza it's the sound of Peter Baker too. Totally. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. I could, I work on my own. I need sometimes I need a solo space. I need the the room to move because of the intensity of the relationship uh musical relationship between Peter Becker and myself. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's I, I need to explore um, uh, avenues that sometimes uh, become overwhelming mm -hmm. when I'm working with Pete. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, we're talking about serious friendship and beyond now. This is like maybe nearly 30 years of making music together. So yes. it's something special. And I think it probably always will be for Peter and I. I believe that Photographs as Memories is one of the best albums of all time. Can well, you tell me some things about this album? Right, it was very much done uh, um, in one take. It, at the time we had an ethos of uh, first take, best take, mm -hmm. you know. So if it didn't work straight away, uh, we didn't consider it uh, worthwhile. Um, <laughs> which is uh, very much an attitude of the times, really, that w bands like uh, ATV, um, mm -hmm. Uh, we're, we're working with uh, we, we like to use improvisation in our music yes. but we've always had a thing about the song the song has always been really important and a really important medium for us it's a fantastic vehicle and it's a focus and sometimes you can get to the point with with a song where it's working so well that it's almost singing you yes <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with photographs as memories I remember that the impulse was Capture it quickly. If, if, um, Just about to happen. Yes, yes, I understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, tell me some things about your Leonard Cohen cover, Priests, for the Mojo tribute album. A great idea. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I've always enjoyed um, Leonard Cohen's work, particularly um, the first early records. But I, it, it was, for me, that singing this song, Priests, which is a very special song. I don't think... Yes. Well, Leonard Cohen's never mm -hmm. recorded it. And the only recording that I know is by um, Judy Collins. And um, it comes from a fantastic album called um, Wildflowers. And, and nobody really... Uh, I don't think anyone thinks about her music or her work now. But once upon a time, she was instrumental in bringing lots of uh, composers and different musical idioms to the, to the table. Mm -hmm. um, people such as Leonard Cohen, uh, for example, Tom yes, Rush. Yes. But uh, yeah, Priests, it's a bit special. I, I, the other one I'd really like to do is uh, God is Alive, Magic is Afoot, uh, Buffy Saint Marie. Do you know that song? Yes, yes, yes. I think yes. it's too difficult. Too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Maybe. That might be a good piece to play, actually. Yes. Uh, I'm sure, sure your listeners would enjoy that. Do you know that song? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I think maybe yeah. it's a good time for a John Martin uh, tribute album too. John Martin? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I sort of grew up listening to uh, John Martin. What a great uh, artist too. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, my, I mean, I think uh, Inside Out is probably my favourite album. <laughs> which, uh, <laughs> yes. I mean, I loved it. I love all his uh, improvised music. Yes, yes. But it, like, it's so sensual, isn't it? Yes, it's, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's, that's how I think about his early music you know, it's because it, you need that in the music mm -hmm. and uh, one thing about Eilis and Gaza is I'm, I'm very aware I'm often talking about uh, the spiritual part of the equation and you know uh, mm -hmm. but um, this it's also important to bring uh, sensuality uh, uh, to the of music course. as well and I don't mean um, uh, in a pornographic way or yeah, a yeah, vulgar yeah, 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 way yeah, I understand. Uh, but you know it's very important to have the body in the music as well as the mind and the spirit all together yeah. Martin uh, can you tell me some of your favourite artists uh, nowadays from today's music industry maybe <sighs> that's difficult <laughs> yeah I understand that's difficult I mean my favourites tend to be people who've been working for a while mm -hmm. to be honest and uh, I make no apology about it I, I don't listen to uh I don't go out of my way not to listen to it, but I don't listen to um, young people's music. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how I feel about it. I don't want to listen to someone um, who's 18, 19, 20. Yes. Uh, because they're experiencing their, the things that they're, you know, mm -hmm. the young man's mm -hmm. music or a young woman's music. <laughs> not that I can't relate to it. Yes, yes. But, yes. So I tend to 
Well, I listen to my huge music collection. Yes. And uh, I tend to listen to artists who've been uh, making music for a while. So there's an admission. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you know, if something... Uh, I mean, I'd, occasionally things do pop up and I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I really like that. And that person has put a different complexion on music. But I might be wrong, but I'm fe my feeling is that, that there's something changing within the music industry i used to feel i mean for me the best pop music i used to say the best pop music is like urban folk music mm -hmm. and i used to feel that that was my role but now I, i'm not so sure with the information explosion and the way that music is marketed uh, today yes uh, i'm i know there's good mu there's lots of good music out there but uh, i think new music is uh, the way new music is coming across. I think all the everything's changing, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are in a time of uh, escalated change, and uh, it's, it's. I think that's partly why, at the moment, everyone is so interested in folk music. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, I'm I'm a massive folk music fan, and uh, I've always been involved in uh, champion championing. Uh, a folk music, mm -hmm. one way or another, I've tried to bring it into elements into Eilis and Garza's work, and I have done, and I brought it into elements of my own solo work. Um, but folk music, I feel at saturation point uh, at the moment. Everyone, everyone seems to be going folk, um, mm, yes. which I'm, you know, I sometimes feel a little cynical about. I've watched crazies come and go. You know, fashions and crazies, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and some of them don't seem very genuine. And I'm not sure how genuine the interest in folk music is. Um, but you know, it's a time of change, and I think it's. I understand why people want to turn to folk music now, because I think people feel at a remove from the means of making music. Mm -hmm. So folk music now, picking up a guitar and or whatever. It's, it's a kind of like punk rock for 2009, mm -hmm. <laughs> which kind of sounds strange. Yes. It's making your own music and finding your own voice. Yes, and I can't yes. argue with that, <laughs> but I, I want to hang around and see how, these, how the musicians develop mm -hmm. and if they move everything on. And if I can hear their, the musician's own voice in the music, not just copying Devendra Banhart exactly. or whoever. You know, yes, well, yes. I, I've mentioned someone's name. I said I wouldn't <laughs> mention anyone's name. Okay. I like Devendra Benhart, Banhart, so mm -hmm. you know, no problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Martin, thank you very much for this. Is that interview. enough? Yes. I've rambled yeah. on. <laughs> it was a real pleasure. Oh, well, I've got lots more things to say, I'm sure. I'm just, <laughs> so, uh, I'm just getting good. Can, uh, Martin, can you <laughs> so, yeah, do a question? Uh, yes, we, well, we, we hope to be playing in Greece before too long. Mm -hmm. And. Um, we, we certainly hope to have a record out uh, on a Greek label uh, within about four months. Uh, I can keep you informed. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, of course. About our, pl our plans. Of course. And um, I'll try and... Do, what, do you have our latest records? Yes, 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 yeah, yes, cool, yes. Cool, cool. Um, what's happening? Are we doing another uh, retrospective um, album mm -hmm. entitled uh, Mythic Language? Mm -hmm. that's, that's coming out on a label based in Hong Kong. Um, I, we're working on a, a brand new album. Mm -hmm. I'm working oh, that's on a good. solo That's album. very good. So there's lots of material, no. uh, you know, and so we hope to um, have more music out than ever in mm -hmm. 2009. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> okay. You know, I'm we'll be in spirit. touch anyway. Okay. Okay. okay thank so you very much. Thank you very much, thank Martin. Bye-bye.